Welcome to Eye on Arcasia, where we take a look ahead at all things lost art coming your way. First, we're gonna recap a couple of recent events, and then we'll dive into our first look at what's to come in the month of May. The Thamine the First race took place last month with the first confirmed legitimate clear from a team in Europe Central server happening on April 21st. The second and third place teams came in a little bit later and we know a bunch of teams worked super, super hard to place, so congratulations to all of them. In celebration of this huge accomplishment, when the clear was confirmed, all players received a gift to their product inventories that contained useful materials like transcendent system materials, honing system materials, Fions and more. That is still available, so be sure to log in and claim that gift if you haven't yet. The emote contest has also wrapped up, and together the community has selected five new player-created emotes to be added to the game. When these unlock, they will be permanent global emotes, free to use by any player. It is going to take a few months for those to finally be ready to be released, but we're going to take a minute to check out and celebrate the winners now anyway. Also, these are available in our Discord, and all 10 finalists are available to use. The Chaos Rising update will launch on May 25th. We know that players are still going to be working through the Thamine Legion raid, so this month is going to be a little bit lighter in terms of content. We did recently touch on this in the Roadmap Part 2 video, which you can go back and watch. It'll give a little bit more insight into what the next few months of content will look like as well. But some of the highlights for the month of May do include the Curzon Prelude event. Chaos Assault, where players will enter Chaos Rifts to defeat hordes of enemies and, more importantly, earn Wishful Embers. The special new drop, Wishful Embers, will provide players with valuable rewards, so definitely get in on that. Trial Hanumaton will also be coming, but this will be a little bit different from previous Trial Guardian raids. There'll be multiple difficulties, and in addition to the normal first-time clear rewards like titles and achievements, you'll also be able to earn some gold. And as a new reveal, May will also bring forth an Elixir and Transcendence Boost event, which will support players in more quickly progressing through these new systems and help you more quickly gain some of those endgame power spikes. I know a lot of players will be excited for that because we've seen a lot of feedback on those new systems. So be sure to check out the patch notes when they drop on May 24th for more details and to see everything else that's going to be coming with the update. The May update will also bring the new Magical Enchanter skin set. This is really exciting because what makes these skins special is that these will be the second ever set of skins designed and created specifically for our players here in the West. These skins will be exclusive to our region for some time before they're released to the rest of the world. So we're super excited to see all of the fun outfits you create with our brand new Magical Enchanter skins. There's also a bunch of cute pets and mounts that we're really excited to reveal, so keep an eye out. While this show, Eye on Arcasia, aims to give you an overview of what to expect over the next few weeks, we do still want to keep creating a variety of content for our community that just kind of has fun and celebrates the game whenever we can. So with that being said, I'm really excited to share that a new episode of Tavern Talks will be out on May 28th. I am super, super excited for this one, not only because it's the first one for a couple months, but you'll get to meet not only one, but two team members. You'll definitely be familiar with some of their work if you're involved in the community, but they haven't been formally introduced to the tavern yet, so be sure to check out the video when it goes live. I'm super excited to see you again in the tavern and super excited for you to meet them. Region merges will still be taking place in June, but we recently shared some news around that. At this time, only the South America region will be merging into North America East. While Merge Tech was being developed and tested, we found that we were not yet comfortable with the solution for latency and just good play that players would be able to experience if we merged North America West and East. We know players were super excited to kind of play together across North America, but at this time we still want to ensure the best possible gameplay experience and our team just isn't comfortable making that merge right now. We're going to keep working on this and we'll reassess it when we can, but we don't really have a new time frame in mind yet. If you do want more details, be sure to check out the team update that was posted on our website on May 7th. Finally, as we look ahead and throwing it back to that team update a little bit, I did want to mention that earlier this month we confirmed that we are officially changing Layden's name back to Echidna. When the team was first asked to localize this name, the final form of Echidna hadn't yet been revealed to us, but after learning more about the character and reviewing all of your player feedback, we definitely agree that the name Echidna is better suited for her, so expect to see that name being used moving forward. 
Thank you so much for letting us know what you thought about that and allowing us this opportunity to change her name to Echidna. Thanks for joining us for this month's Eye on Arcasia. We hope this gave you an insightful look as to what's to come in the next month. And as always, we'll see you back in Arcasia.